Hey guys, so I just passed the AWS Cloud Practitioner exam in seven days. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you exactly how I did it and how you can do it yourself. So if you're preparing to take the AWS Cloud Practitioner certification exam, stay until the end because I'm gonna be sharing with you guys all the resources I used, including one game changer. So make sure you subscribe and let's get straight into it. First thing I did was what everyone does, Googling. Turns out that the AWS description page is actually a great place to gain some understanding and knowledge on these important services. This exam is not a professional certification, it is a foundational one. I highly encourage you guys to do your own research. Researching DynamoDB, S3, EC2, Lambda, and just reading the descriptions and understanding the diagrams and everything, it's also good to know that you are just reading the most up-to-date information on that service. Just remember, the exam doesn't go super deep. It tests your understanding of what AWS services are for, not how to configure them or make an architecture yourself. Now, here's the game changer. I realized practice exams were the secret weapon. That's why I created my own set of six brand new updated practice exams and I used them to drill myself. When I was preparing, I noticed that most practice exams were just outdated or did not cover 100% of the exam topics. I designed these exams to mimic the real thing, so you feel confident when you're taking this exam. Each practice exam contains 65 questions, so a total of 390 questions for you to practice, all with detailed explanations for correct and incorrect options. And there's two modes that you can practice with, the practice mode and the exam mode. In the exam mode, it is practically the same as taking the real exam. You are not able to see the explanations or if you answer is correct until you finish the exam. In the practice mode, you are able to see if your answer was correct or not and the explanations. The pretty cool thing about these exams is that when you finish, you're able to see the distribution of the incorrect and the correct options and also view them by domain. So you are able to see where you are lacking a little bit of knowledge. On the last day, I reviewed my practice exam results, reread the explanations of the questions that I got wrong and focused on those weak areas. Then I took one more exam and got a 90% out of 100 and then I felt ready. AWS's free training and official docs are great for theory, but nothing builds confidence as practice. I spent hours crafting these questions based on the latest cloud practitioner exam content, so you don't have to search anywhere else. You can practice and learn at the same time using these practice exams. So if you're serious about passing the AWS cloud practitioner exam, make sure to check out my Udemy course. The link is gonna be in the description. So use this code if you want to get a discount on the practice exams. It's the ultimate resource and it's helping so many people nail the exam. And remember guys, you've got this AWS Cloud Practitioner exam is totally achievable. Just follow this plan and you'll get certified in no time. Good luck out there guys. This is just the first step in a very, very exciting cloud journey. Peace out.